Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. How are you? Welcome. It is time for the ramble. The ramble goes on from now until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. And uh, uh, we're uh, there was no Damien tonight. Damien had some kind of other crisis. So, again, uh, not another Damien show. Uh, hopefully, you get, you get back to a regular schedule soon. Uh, because you know it's uh, yeah I, I you know because your audience misses you Damien you know okay all right anyway the uh, show must go on the show must go on oh wait a minute I haven't even I I'm I'm so upset I didn't even show me and I'm so upset I didn't even turn on the on the air sign oh you better be you'll really be upset yeah 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 uh, now and now we're we're, we're now we're, we're here we're, now we're here and there she is. Just, just, just why I have all these things, all these buttons I have to push in order to get this show on the air, and Wait. they have to be done. They have to be done at a, in a regular interval and everything. And in the middle of me doing that, you want me to go down here and get you a, a tissue. And and your point uh, is well, your point is you know I have to do all that stuff. Oh God, here we go again. No, I can't do it. It's just not that simple, you know. And it's not that easy. Blah 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 blah. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm getting it from you, too, huh? <laughs> Jeez almighty. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I got a note from, um, um, uh, uh, from a, a woman who wrote me on my Facebook page. What's her name? What's her name? Her name, her name actually is um, um, uh, Sandra Lazzanaro. And she says, what was the name of the wireless earbuds that folks were talking about on the show a few nights ago? I can't remember. Actually, I think I was I mentioning the new ones I had bought that I was thinking about, that I was gonna buy or that I had sent away for. Or uh, actually what I, we use, you're, you use them and I use them, they're called Sound Pete's. And this is another product by Sound Pete. Let me, let me put my um, a camera on here so I can show people what I'm talking about. Um, the, these the, they come in a little box like this now, and look at this! Isn't this, isn't this cool? His new toy. Look at look at this! Wait a minute, let me see here. Let me put this up there. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And what they are is, uh, and if I take them out, they actually try to try to um, uh, synchronize with your phone. But they, you just put them in here. I'll show you, and they they just look like this. Look, see. Now tell me if that isn't better than those hash pipes. You look like you know the, those big black rings that some guys put in their ears. Yeah. Down here, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Let me see here. Let me turn it off. A second. No one can okay, see you turning it on and off with well, the no, power. They, no, they can't. They can see me doing that. Anyway, so that's what, and they're called, uh, if you go online, it's, it's, it's not the sound peaks that have the wire. It's the, the. Uh, Just tell her the manufacturer. She uh, can find well, it online. Oh, wait a I have the name of it. Wait, where was it? It's on the box. Here, here we go. They're called True Free Plus by Sound Peats. And these t have about 35 hours on a charge, something like that. And, but I don't know what happens after you've charged them a lot. You know whether they're gonna whether they're gonna last or not. Anyway, so um, so anyway, so Damien didn't do a show tonight. In case you were wondering where he was, uh, and uh, he's had some kind of problem out at his uh, storage facility. And today they had uh, tonight. The reason he couldn't do the show is they were br the police. The sheriff was bringing out the canines, smelling for smell dope. Them. Probably I, I don't know what they're smelling. Probably. For. Maybe somebody, you know, somebody sent in a bomb threat or whatever, but... Or drugs. Boy, he's had a lot of adventures at his <laughs> place. 
I'm telling you. So anyway, good luck, uh, Damien. I hope everything's okay. I hope you're, I, 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 I hope you are well. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Well, turn off your volume. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't have to sneeze yet. I'm trying to prevent from sneezing. No, I'll sneeze. <laughs> yeah, but this is further away. They can still hear it on your mic. But not as loud as yours. If you weren't here, I could sneeze. Anyway. Well, I could go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, uh, let's see, at let long last, our long national wait is over. Yes, the report is in. Yeah, the Mueller report has been turned into the just the Department he of He hand-delivered it to Barr. Did he hand-deliver it? Yeah. Did he really? Yeah, that's what I heard. Now, here's what I'm wondering. Here, I'm wondering about Mueller, okay? Because let's face it, Mueller has a job, right? I don't know how much he gets paid to be the you know independent counsel. A lot. But it's probably a decent amount of yeah. money, right? Okay. So, does this mean on Monday the checks start stop coming? Believe me, yeah. there's probably a hundred <laughs> law firms that will take him in a second. He's probably gotten the uh, the offers already. Yeah. Well, he's uh, you know he's good at what he does. Oh, he's good. He's honorable. He's I mean, a, he's everybody really, has he, said You know that. something in this whole thing? You have to admit. What do you mean? I turned it on because you usually complain yeah, that it is. Just isn't turn on. it down one notch. Oh, it doesn't have to be all the way. To Can the I have it at the height That's I want it? Too much. Yeah. Um, no, sure. he's honorable. He he's very well respected, and in a case like this, he's not about to go over the line. Yeah, but he has been very. You never. You haven't heard a word from him. Nothing. Nothing. He just went and did his job, and no matter what Trump said in tweets or whatever, he never replied, he never said a word. He was a perfect gentleman about the whole thing and very professional. And I'm sure at some time a book's going to come out way down the line. Oh, he's, yeah. he, he, obviously, he's probably gotten the offers already. Yeah. You know, uh, but that's, uh, you know, it's, it's the beginning. Yeah. And no, I, I, I totally respect him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we all do. Uh, and, and I'm glad Republican. Excuse me, except for except for Phil. Phil probably doesn't like it. Yeah, but he's a Republican. But he's a Republican. That's that's the other part. So is Rosenstein. Is Rosen? Yes, yeah. Rosenstein is a uh, Rosenstein. Rosenstein is a Republican. Is a Republican. Uh, so I mean, Trump should like all. My of them. biggest fear is what is the agreement that Trump made with Barr, and I'm sure they've had some you know counsel together, just the two of them. Well, you know, I think that if this thing doesn't come out, okay, it, it, like it should, uh, I think that there's going to be a, a great deal of uh, yelling and screaming by the public. Well, first of, of all, about, also, there's yeah. also four other um, uh, U.S. districts that have cases against him. Yeah. And his kids. Yeah, right, right. But... Uh, well, yeah, the uh, New York Southern Court, the District Court of New York, New York is the D.C., Virginia, yeah. and a fourth one. I'm not sure yeah. the fourth. But one anyway, is. The, the point is that uh, who knows what's in the report? You know, uh, supposedly there are no more indictments that are going to that have been are coming down because they I weren't. I think Mueller did a very smart thing because anything that was outside of his boundary of what the close. Um, boundary of what that was set the small little Russian well, the reason, wait wait but I think because he never went out of it what he did was he referred it all to the other districts yeah but also so, also, so he also, wasn't like just looking yeah none of these people who got convicted were convicted because of complete being complicit in the com, uh, complicit yes complicit in uh the uh in the Russia thing, but they had information that they weren't willing to give up easily, and what he was ready and willing to do was arrest them on other stuff, and hey, you want to get off of that? Start singing like a bird. Well, it's kind of like, who was the gangster in, uh, that got arrested, that went to jail on tax evasion? Oh, it's Capone. Capone. Well, they always got him on something else. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next couple of days. I don't hold much uh, chance that um, the attorney general will release all of it. 
you know. Right. I, I, and, and but the question is, is it, it's supposed to go to the president and Congress at the same time? I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, I think the president has it already. Probably. Yeah, I'm sure I mean, he has he took it already. A, it took a lot of his lawyers down to, you know, Palm Beach. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you can bet Mueller did a thorough job. And now it's a, ch a question of whether his thorough job is going to be allowed to be seen. Yeah. You know, that's really the problem. Well, I think what they, what, what they can do is subpoena Mueller uh, at the congressional hearing. Yeah. They could, and they it could, could come that. out that way. Yeah, they could do that. And, um, um, uh, and it would be interesting to hear him. They could have it on an open, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Open session so we can hear it. Right. But it, 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 it's going to, uh, it, the next couple of days are going to be amazing. According to the Attorney General, he may release what he's, uh, some of what he's going to release over the weekend. Yeah, he's not. I mean, <laughs> no, I think he will. It's a thick book. <laughs> I, you know why I think he'll do it over the weekend? If it's not good for Trump, it's a bad news day. It's a kind of a, if you release something on a weekend, it doesn't have quite the impact as if no you do it on around. a Monday and all the... Everybody's up and ready uh, for it. Yeah, you know, Andrea Mitchell's working and she's got to have something to say, you know. But um, it's, it's uh, we're all sitting here, I guess, waiting on tender hooks to see what, uh, what what's going to happen and how it's going to play yeah. itself out. It's just so sad to see what's become of this country. Yeah. I mean, I I don't like it right now. Well, I, I, you know something, then you're, you're a recent convert because I was never that crazy about the United States of America or the way it comported itself with the rest of the world. Well, it was never so mean. It, well, look, we uh, look at any period of time. You know, you talk about, was there any time in my lifetime where things were worse than they are now? When there wasn't a war. Well, no. Really? Uh, Think about uh, it. Well, wait, I'm going to say, uh, in my time, I think things were just about as bad in the 50s with the House on American Activity, subcommittee and all that And then crap you have Watergate. Well, that's later on. Well, we're talking later on. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, when I think about, you know, how bad things could be, I remember back to when I was a kid and, and the McCarthy era. And and uh, the House on American Activities. Right, but I don't remember the country being so split. Oh, it was very split. Not back like then. this. Oh yeah, you had those people who wanted. Oh, we got to get the communists. The communists are, you know, they put a communist fear in us, much like Trump is putting a Mexican fear in in his people's mind. Yeah, and it's pretty terrible all the way around. When the use when you use, what's the word I'm looking for? What it's. Uh, Phobia, uh, xenophobia. You know, it's going to be interesting when they start doing um, hearings on his, on Ivanka and Jared using private servers and emails. Oh, they won't do anything. They're not, like that. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to do anything. It's been about that. three years with Trump, and they're all still talking. Lock her up, lock her up. Yep, for for her having her own servers at home. And here were Ivanka and Jared. Well, Jared's not even using it. He's using an open, um, I forget the name of it, but it's... it's. He's using his iPhone like you yeah, and I Yeah, but it's like a Facebook app, but it's not, it's not Facebook, but it's something like that. I can't remember the name of it. Do you remember when uh, uh, Obama was so upset because he couldn't use his... Because they took his BlackBerry, Blackberry away. BlackBerry. Yeah. Uh, do you know anybody who owns a BlackBerry anymore? Well, there are two two people that I worked with in in uh, Shanghai who refused to give them up, and finally one of them gave them up and went to the iPhone. You know, <laughs> they lost their big chance because they were there right from well, the Blueberry start. Well, Blueberry was very good. BlackBerry. BlackBerry. Blueberry. <laughs> See, I'm out. Plum of it. was very good too. I'm out of it. I'm out. Ten nineteen. Should I roll no, over? No, not yet. Nobody's watching anyway. What the fuck? Yeah, because we're not arguing. Well, I don't want to argue. I'm, I'm not feeling well. I'm, I think I ought to give this whole thing up. It's up to you. You know, I mean, come on. I, we don't have a huge listening audience, and I do it every night, and I, and, 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 and all of this is give me grief. Soros. Yeah, I mean, there's one, one, one fire after another I have to put out. You, you, you know, you're here with me all day, and you hear me I yelling, hear yelling from the office. Oh fuck. <laughs> 
you know. No, I do. I do hear it. Either it's audio that isn't working, or it isn't the video thing isn't working, or or, or Skype has suddenly changed to another system. Um, the the he, here's a company though that I like, and that and we've been using them. You know, I got off. You know, we used to do this show on Facebook on Facebook Live, right? And then I stopped doing it there because uh, actually one guy, Forbin Colossus, was is his name. Gee, we don't even have people chatting tonight. Uh, uh, he was the one who said you should go over to uh, 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 what do you call it? YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And I was kind of—I didn't know how YouTube worked, and I was lear learning a whole new thing. But I went over here, over to YouTube, it's and I dropped good. Facebook, yeah. and it's been yeah it's really I, I, once I think only once in all all the maybe two years we've been using YouTube now that it went down. Yeah. You know, otherwise, always a perfect signal going out, watch it'll fuck up tonight. A perfect <laughs> signal going out, no problems, right? Uh, True. Now, what happened was, like all these companies, YouTube figured we're gonna come up with a better way. And I go to a thing called YouTube Creator, and that's where I work on all the stuff that, that gets the programs onto YouTube mm -hmm. and apportions them to YouTube and you know, I put, uh, you know, I post them on the, using that. And all of a sudden, I click on the thing where I usually go that says go to creator or something or go to whatever. And it didn't take me back to the same page. It took me back to, to into a whole new page. It was their new creator. Wow. Beta. Oh, okay. And they're forcing everybody to use it. But here is where the difference is between like fucking Microsoft with their Skype and YouTube. YouTube had a thing that said, if you don't want it to default to the new creator. Push this button. Click here, and then go there and ask it to, you know. Keep it the old one. And so now I, I'm back the old one. That's how, but why I like Google. I mean, why I like YouTube. They're good that way. Is you Google know? on YouTube? Yeah, of oh, course, of course. Bought it years and years and years and years ago. What do I know? But anyway, what I'm saying is, is it is uh, uh, that's what I like about the company, you know, that I suddenly okay, I'm back with my old system because I didn't like, I just didn't like, I'm an old fart, right? I didn't like the way the new one was laid out because it was laid out in a way that was a little not as convenient, different. But you know something? If a lot of people wrote them or complained and said, you know, you shouldn't do this or you should do that, they would listen, Google listens. Microsoft doesn't. They got a bunch of people sitting there with their finger up their ass saying, they're gonna like the new Skype because it's great because we have bubbles, <laughs> right? And everybody's going, yeah, ooh, we have bubbles, you know? <laughs> uh, and uh, they're gonna, we're gonna force them to use it. And then of course, there are people out there who just refuse to be stopped. They want to still use this. this. Yeah, but there's, there'll always be somebody that will figure out how to get well, around well, it. Well, there are these guys. They, I'm using a Skype now that so far, knock on wood, you know, I didn't wake up every morning, expect to wake up and have it say, I'm sorry, I got to go to the new one. Uh, but apparently somebody did a little hack and it works, it works day in, day out, day in, day out. And then I went on to this same site where I got this the other day, and they said, oh, by the way, we've also fixed the other version of it that, that they, they were cutting out. Uh, you, you can try that one too, it's not a problem. But what it is is that what, what Skype would do is you would go to Skype and they'd say, I'm sorry, you can't use this version. Uh, unless you go to the new version, you can't use Skype. It always reminds me how people go around the system to get things done. These, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. And it reminded me of the early days of cable when they would hang these long cable things out of apartment houses. Yeah. And you could go out of your window and oh, hook well, up to it. No, better yet, in the old days of cable, here's how stupid. But the they cable hung them were. down. No, well, here, here's how stupid the, the cable people were. At least in my part of a building down the village, and I had one of the first apartment houses that had cable in it, right? They ran the cable outside the apartment. Yeah. Around in the hallway. Oh, there. Oh, no, 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 they, they didn't. They no, hung, excuse me. They, they dropped didn't, it no, from the they roof. Didn't, they didn't do it in the hallway. They dropped it they from the roof. They ran it through the closets. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. So now, like, you don't subscribe to cable? But it's still going through your closet. Well, you buy yourself a box because they were on the, on the black market. And then you simply take a pair of, of uh, cutting things and you cut into the cable. And then you put on the little things and put a tap on it. And now you've got cable. Yeah. Then they were also hanging them from the Well, the, the cable rooftops. company, after a while, realized that everybody was fucking <laughs> stealing cable. Right? Yeah. So they then rewired all the buildings. And dropped them. No. So the wire for the cable was in the hallway on the outside. Well, I remember them dropping yeah. from the roof down by the oh, windows that, that was, yeah. and it would go into your window if you subscribed yeah. and if you didn't it would just yeah. go straight but down but if there was one going straight down you just cut into it put in the little taps you know then there was another deal for $300 I mean you get your basic cable that's it just basic oh, you wait, had, wait wait wait, wait. It, it, remember, and then there were for 12 three, there were 12 channels plus another 13 with number letters on right but for $300 there was this guy in Florida that was able to hook you up to all the channels. All you had to do was pay the basic, mm -hmm. and you had the $300 thing until maybe a year and a half later they figured it out and they recoded it. And then he would come up with another code and, and was able to do it. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Same thing happened with the phone company. The phone company was very easy to... to well, they owned all the phones in the beginning. No, but you could but you could cut into the wires. You could be, you siphon off phone system <laughs> because they they came around at a time where a they weren't technologically hip enough, and they also came around at a time where they figured people aren't going to steal from us. <laughs> well, by the fifties, people were stealing from them like crazy. Right. Right, but they owned all the phones in those days, and we found out. And you how, rented the phones. Well, there was from a thing them. called a uh, there was a blue box and there was a black box, and I, the blue box I think was the simple one. And what it was, is it was a thing you could put between your phone and the and the and the jack, all right. And the way in which they knew that you were making a phone call was there was a change in the resistance on your line. Hmm. Okay. And that told the phone company, oh, they're a making long, a phone call. It was a long distance call right. or something. What like the that. blue box did was maintain the resistance. So that when you picked up the phone, it didn't, you know. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. So you could then make long distance calls and they wouldn't be recorded. <laughs> Do you remember when there was local, regional, and long distance? Oh, and here was the best one. There was a guy by the name of Captain Crunch. He called himself Captain Crunch because what happened was, in boxes of Captain Crunch as a toy, they gave you a whistle, right? Yeah. And this guy found that if you blew that whistle into the phone, it would allow you, I think, to make long distance calls <laughs> without the phone company it knowing. Blocked or, it or, or something. Or was gonna turn something on. I can't remember exactly what it did. <laughs> But this is way how, uh, what's his name? Not Steve Jobs, but his partner, Steve Wozniak started by selling these whistles. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, but they, the guy he named, was named Captain Crunch. And then they came out with the black boxes and they were more sophisticated. But you could, do, you, you could just completely cheat the phone company. Now they're so digital, you can't, okay? Uh, but boy, uh, I just remember the like cable crazy. and how excited it was to be able to get all the channels for just by paying that basic well, code. Well, I, I hated the cable company so badly that when I left New York, I took my cable box with me. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, but you're stealing a cable box. I said, let them come to California and get it. <laughs> I made this fucking cable company with Midnight Blue. They <laughs> sold tens of thousands of subscriptions based upon me. I'm oh, going to roll you're, over. You're going to come over. It's uh, time. Uh, uh, okay, hold on a second. Wait a minute. I pushed the wrong button. See, you do this and then I, I, I push the wrong button. For everything. I push the wrong button and then then I have all kinds of problems and I'm, I'm not well lately. I, I've got to stop taking these things to put me to sleep at night because they, they addle me. Okay, so... Anyway, I'm not uh, in there. what? I'm not in the picture. Well, you're not in the picture because you haven't moved over enough. Yeah, you know, everything has to be her Bye. way. It has to be for her convenience. Boy, okay, we'll turn on the we'll turn on the lines now, and uh, see if anybody call. wants if anybody wants to call. Well, does well, anybody notice I'm wearing Alex's hat? 
Y yeah, that's a very nice hat. Yeah, it's when you got on the street. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's still one of the nicest hats I own, it's and it's like hat. it's like a six dollar hat or something. Yeah. You know, when you leave, uh, give me that, and I'll put it on. Um, but it looks good on you though, because it's you know, it's it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Um, anyway, um, call in. You know, I I have been edit fooling around with an editing and uh, making. Uh, uh, re uh, making files out of tapes that I took of my trip to Europe, and I suddenly realized it was 24 years ago. Wow. These tapes are 24 years old, and by the way, they hold up. Mm. They they held up. Oh, guess uh, who's guess Charlie's who's calling? First in. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I can't, I can't even figure this stuff out anymore. See, I'm I'm just really adulpated. Hello, hello, let's see here. It takes Charlie's, it always takes There's him a while. Charlie. There he is. Hey, how there he is. Doing? Hey, Charlie. Hey, how are you? Hi. How, how you doing? Okay. Yeah. There's these old cable lines in, uh, in, in, in Arizona. Do you remember those? Do you remember those? Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, I remember the ones y'all were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It was so funny because you're really like, cheating. You got to talk the, into the microphone. You're cheating the system. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I think about half the people in my apartment complex just hooked into somebody else's case. Oh, everybody in my building did. <laughs> There's probably one person paying and everybody. Yeah. Well, they learned how they learned how to take care of you. It's now all digital. That's true. So they can uh, they can they, they in fact they can probably look in on you and see what you're doing. Uh, so how are you tonight, Charlie? You're the only one online. Oh boy! Wow. Well, okay. wait a minute. Wait a minute. I spoke too soon. Uh, here comes. Here comes the the he he, he whose name should not oh, be said Betsy, because huh? if you say it three times, he will show up. Oh, uh, oh. I, I heard. I, you know, I listened to you know your turn up your um, mic a little bit, would you? Really? Yeah, a little bit. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, how's that? Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know. Um, well, what? you got an apology? Oh, God, come on, take that <laughs> off. Oh, man, that's painful. Yeah. Uh, when I see that, I see a swastika. Me too. Yeah, yeah. It, it gives me that same visceral feeling. Yeah. I, I told you I'm a Jew supremacist. You're not a Jew supremacist. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the, you, you seem to think the people living in Israel are Jews, and they're not. Oh. Uh. Okay, so you're going to uh, make sure that they, you, you know, I put them down. They're Zionists. They're not real Jews. No, they're Zionists. There's yeah, a, there's I a agree difference. with them. There's a difference. Well, yeah, you don't even know what Zionism is. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who who came up with Zionism? Oh, enough, enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, was it Ben Gurion? Uh, no. Oh God. I'm going to sleep. See, he doesn't. Mm, he doesn't even. Night, know. everyone. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Have I a got, good weekend, I, I got the good hat now. See, no, put, I got the good hat. Put, put my hat over there. <laughs> okay. Would you when you get a chance? Yeah. Oh wait a minute. Well, give you could give me my uh, my communist Chinese hat, yeah, and I could wear that. that. That would drive him crazy. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, um, hello, uh, Rob. Um, Hey Alex. No, come on. Who 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 came up with who's the father of Zionism? Uh I I thought it was Ben Gurion. <laughs> was he the first president of Israel? No, uh, no. Uh, 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 no. Uh no, no. He's not the person who came up with Zionism. All right. You so know, who you, was it? Well, I mean, you're, if you're such a Zionist, you should know. I I support the state of Israel, but you, tell me, uh, you know. Oh, so you're, you're you 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 pledge allegiance to another country? Is that what you're saying? Uh, you know, if I could, if I wasn't so lazy, I'd be a dual citizen. That's okay. Our president does too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not according to Mueller. Um, but we anyway, don't know yet. we don't know yet. We don't know. They haven't told us what's in it yet. No indictments. No the collusion. Big, there's already been no, no, 50 no. of them. Yeah, but <laughs> most of them are all uh, Russian uh, oligarchs. Yeah, right. Yeah, and you know how, mu how much of the information he's turning over to, like, the Southern District of New York and the Virginia uh, District? And, yeah, he told me. Yeah, uh, and those those areas, a lot of, he's, 
he's turning a lot of information over to those people. Well, we'll see. And those you are know, things that can't be pardoned by the president. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's going to pardon anybody because he didn't do anything wrong. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So he says. So he says. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, you see uh, how uh, long he, 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 looked today? He didn't even. He, he didn't even. Uh, he, he he didn't. He's incurious to find out who the father of Zionism is. Eh, it doesn't matter. He's dead. But uh, you really don't know, do you? And you say, "Oh, I believe in Zionism." I believe in the state of Israel, but tell me, uh, you want to tell me? His name is Theodore Herzl. Ah. So remember that. I heard of him. Oh, you heard of him. Okay. Yeah. And it doesn't Herzl <laughs> that much. Everybody laugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's time, uh -huh. to, it's time to laugh. I'm in a bad mood tonight, so don't fuck with me. Oh, fuck you. Huh? <laughs> fuck me? Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck. And from, from Curb Your Enthusiasm, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that was the one thing, I first thing I learned when I lived in New York, and that was the, uh, uh, the fuck you. Fuck yeah. me? No, fuck, fuck me? Fuck you. Right? <laughs> they teach us that in kindergarten. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So anyway, I bought those earphones. I showed you those earphones earlier that I bought. Mm -hmm. uh, they're only like uh, thirty-two dollars, right? Yeah. And they go right in your ears separately, right? And they don't. They're not like those fucking hundred and sixty-dollar Apple hash pipes that you put in your ears because it's not this thing hanging down. It just goes right in your ear. The sound Do they is. they fall out? The, no. I could shake my head like crazy and they won't fall out. The hash pipes, you can you go like this and they're halfway across the, the street. The Apple earphones do not fit my ear. They don't and fit they're mine uncomfortable. Either. They don't they're fit terrible. mine either. Yeah. They don't fit yeah, anybody. They, they don't fit anybody's ear. These things, they uh they they are um well let me show you here a second. And then I'm gonna have to turn it off again because it turns itself on and pairs itself when you pull it out of the box here. But you yeah. see this? This is it right here. Wait a minute, let me show you. I showed it earlier to the audience. See yeah. that? See? Oh, well, see it looks that? like the uh, same ones yeah. that have the wire on it that uh, 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 Rob has. So wait a minute. And then you just do this. They're a little different you, model, right? You do this. You do this. Smart beats or whatever they're called? Yeah. 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 True, true sound something beats. Sound said. beats. It, it, but yeah, this is, their, sound one of the, beats. this is one of their brands. This is their true, their true free. I think it's called, and uh, uh, all you do, if I want to change this tune, I just double click on my ear, uh, <laughs> and and I, it, it, you can listen to in mono and just have one in, or you can put both in and hear in stereo, but each one has a different Bluetooth channel. And uh, look at them, look at this. Do you see that? Is that falling out? You know. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I'm a little disappointed with these etymotics. I'll yeah, tell you, what's that? I'll tell you, this is better than the etymotics. They come with a clip. Yeah, yeah. That you can clip on your shirt. Yeah. yeah. That clip just split in half on me. Well, this is an eto These are etymotics I, I use got, here on the show. I got the etymotics without the clip and without the um, thing. It's can just I tell the, you this? Can just I, the can, ear. Can I tell you this? The sound mm -hmm. on these things. Let me turn this thing off here. Yeah. Okay, because it turns itself on when I pull it out of the out of the thing. Um, I love them. Uh, no, these are better. They sound better than the Etymotics. They sound much better, and they're so much cheaper. I mean, these are uh, are, are uh, were thirty two dollars, and if you want to get ones that last for fifty five hours on a charge, they're forty nine. Okay, then there was one cheaper that got, did about 15 hours on a charge. And um, uh, the sound is just, I got to tell you, it is amazing. It is just mm. amazing. And the sound on these is even better than the sound on the, on the other ones that I have. But the sound peats are terrific. You have a sound peats, Rob, did you say? I, I have a pair of sound peats. In fact, I had Phil make the, the, the mold, mold yeah, for them. I really love these. Yeah. How, how do they fit? Oh, yeah. They fit great. 
Yeah, they but, fit great. But those, those aren't the sound peats, so are they that you're No, using? these are oh, these the Etymotics. Are... Yeah. 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 Yeah, I have uh, the Etymotics also, and I made uh, uh, custom uh, yeah. ear molds, so yeah. they fit in perfectly. Yeah. Well, I... They're I... very comfortable. Most comfortable I've ever, ever worn. Took me a little bit getting used to them. Yeah. Did you clean but them up with the ear jeans? I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I find the sound peats the easiest I've ever used. Uh, yeah. they, they, I could wear them for hours, and they don't oh. bother me. So I was getting a headache from the sound peats. Really? Why? That's what made me contact Phil. Yeah, I, had a, I wore them from like 1 in the afternoon until 9 at night on a flight back from Orlando. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a long time to fly to Orlando, right? But I, right. I had to get to the airport early. And I had them in all day, and I start getting a headache. I... I'm telling you, these these custom ones, man, you could just wear them forever. They're awesome. Yeah, and if you take a little bit of the ear gene and clean them because they're new, uh, just lightly apply the ear gene to the, uh, to the mold and then use a little ear gene in your ear. Uh, after a few times, it, it'll even be more comfortable. Okay. Well, I for the uh, for the um, uh, etymotics, I don't know which tips you were using, but I use the sponge tip. Uh, you know, the sponge tip would compress yeah. and would get hard. No, and no, no. Well, here, how you use them, and you it was itchy. You, you don't know, put you them put it in. No, you don't put them directly in your ear. What you do is you take them, and you squeeze like this, on the foam, and then you put it in your ear. And while it's in there, it expands, it expands. and fits into the ear canal very nicely. Yeah. Uh, I've tried the other way with the etymotics where you stick this thing all the way into your fucking eardrum you know, yeah. in order to cut the sound out. Have you ever tried those? I tried it like that, the other ones, uh, Rob? Oh, the, uh, the I, ones that have the fans on them or the... Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, little, yeah. yeah. And uh, only once was I able to get them in properly. You yeah. know? Supposedly, if you can get those things in properly... It completely seals off the ear. I mean, that was the idea behind the etymotics. They work that you're sealing the ear out. That's why mm. this thing, you know, closes up, opens up. And I actually have to get, I get a package of them. I have to put them on new ones to get If you to go them. to a local audiologist and have them uh, make some impressions, I don't, send them I don't to need me it. with your etymotics, I don't and I'll need, make you I, I, but a... I, but I don't need it. Oh, uh, you don't know what you're missing. I don't need it. I really don't need it, Phil. I'm telling you. Uh, I find that the, the, the sound peats, the, the stuff, that the, just the ear thing that comes with them, is perfect. It's so yeah. comfortable. And then the, these things are amazing because there's no way they're coming out of my head. The only problem, that I, the only argument I have about them is let's say I'm out and I want to take them off. I have to take them and put them in my pocket. Well, I want to make sure that I know where they are and both of them are. It, it, I really would like it if they had magnets on these so they would stick together while they were in your pocket or somewhere else. And the, Rob's but they other don't. ones have magnets. No, yeah. those have a magnet on the bottom on either side so that you can mm -hmm. kind of wear it, you know. Yeah, around. Yeah. Right. yeah, and I have those. I have two set, two different types of those. And um, that's terrific. But I wish these had magnets just so that when I'm not using it, I, and I have it in my pocket, you know. But they probably figure you just carry the little case with you and just drop them in the case when you're not using them and put them in your pocket. Rob, how did the molds turn out on the other ones with the magnets? I don't use them nearly as much because I only that's when I travel. Yeah. I only use them when I travel, right? And how often do I travel? I'm either in the car. Yeah. I have to be on some sort of... I have to have a need for them when I'm driving or when I'm someplace not around something. And so I haven't really used them except to try them on. Well, when yeah, I, when I had the lab send them directly to you because I when, was in the Bahamas. I, yeah, this is really interesting. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, but, but I um, um, I use earphones a lot. I mean, I use them when I go to the gym. I use them when I'm just walking down the street and going into stores or taking the subway or whatever. You know, I would too if I were in a city. Yeah, but yeah. I hop in the car and the radio goes on. Uh, years ago, I got used to using my iPhone, uh, I iPod, on yeah. the train, and I suddenly loved it because all the horrible noises of the city disappeared in front of me. 
Mm -hmm. I used to use that little box before there was an iPod. What was the name of that? There was a no, there was a company out there that had like oh the three first uh, MP3, MP3 player. player. Yeah, right. I'm trying to remember what the name of that company was. I could. Re it had a big round disc in the front. Well, no, Apple had a big round disc in the no, front. No, no, no. That this this disc didn't move the way the Apple uh, one did. Oh. It just it just had like you know buttons that you pressed. Oh, what was the name of the original? You know, that was the original way the iPod worked, is that you just had these buttons on either side on the on a circle. And then right. what he learned how to do was to make it so that you could kind of turn, you didn't turn the wheel, you kind of you just noticed your, your finger, finger yeah. moving. And that was that was the real breakthrough. Yeah. Somebody getting their car busted I, into? What? You hear a, a car alarm? No. No? No. Well, maybe it's in my area. Could be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Your plugs in your ears are too good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was hearing it through the microphone. But anyway, uh, these sound peats, I can't recommend enough. I mean, I had, um, I had uh, a, one of the most fussy people about this, Albert here. And Albert said, and I said, oh, I love these sound peats. And I was using, you know, and I said, he said, ah, I don't get those because none of these, none of those headsets have any real good sound. And I said, put these on. And he put them on and he went, that's pretty damn good. There are those you know? etymotics that cost like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars oh, well, that forgot. have Fuck like that. 20 some odd uh, uh, woofers in them or something. But, yeah. I, I've never seen one. Uh, I, I've seen them, you know, rock musicians have them. And, you know, but I, all I'm saying is I like, I love the etymotics for a while. In fact, the, the guy who turned me on to him was Albert. And he said, mm. what? He says, I don't know anything better than the etymotics. And I said, here, try these. And these, I said, do you know how much that cost me? And he said, well, I said, it cost me 24 bucks. And he went, what? He said, the sound is terrific. And it, it, and it is. Especially when you consider it's a Bluetooth as well, you know. So uh, I just googled it, Diamond Rio. Diamond What's Rio, that? yes. Oh my God! And it was put Diamond a, Rio. But there was a company that made it that had a name that we all would remember, I think. And it was what was the company? The Diamond Rio. The, I, I, the Rio PMP 300 from Diamond Multimedia was introduced oh, really? in September of 1998. Wow. Really? Yeah. You know, yeah. 21 it, years they're ago. They're probably kicking, their, uh, kicking themselves in the ass right now that they somehow they were just that close. Yeah, yeah that's because they that didn't close. make them in white. No. If they made it in white. It would have sold. Well, there was something that had to be said about Steve Jobs and the fact that he knew how to finesse a product. Yeah. You know? Uh, there was a style to the Apple devices, still is, that there isn't with other technology. Well, he finessed the product. He said, yeah. what would I, if I had one, what would I like to have in my pocket? What would I like? How would I like it to work? Right. You know? And then he didn't know how to build this shit. He just said to his people, now go ahead and build it. And they did. And he browbeat them. And the reason why Apple <laughs> this is shit. Why Apple is is not doing as well as it used to without him, is because he knew how to finesse a product, and he wasn't happy till it was the way he wanted it to be. Uh, and I've known a few other people like this in my lifetime. My friend Paul Montgomery, who who ran Play Incorporated till he died. Uh, was one of those guys. Who, he and I would sit around and we would say. Well, what do we want to? What do we, what should we build now? And he would always say, "I'd like something that would do something, right?" And then he would go look at his engineers, and he would go, "Build it, you know, make my dream come true." And they would he he would make the dream come true. Uh, they would he would get they would do it for him. Uh, let me get my myself out of out of Tony's face here. There we go. There, minimize myself. There we go. Um, and, and so really the great visionaries haven't been the people who could build the thing. They were the people who could say, this is how I want the thing to work. This is what I would like it to do. 
Gee, uh, wouldn't it be nice if I had a phone where, uh, you know, I it had a screen I could just touch and make it do, st you know. And, and, and then he would say to his people, make it so. It if Jobs was uh, anything, he was good at finding talent. I, I used to know this guy that owned the store. You always in Palo know Alto. a guy who knows some guy who knew a right. guy who knew well, some it, guy. It was called the minimal space, and they sold furniture, you know, high tech looking furniture. Uh, and uh, so this guy worked in that store. Jobs went in there, hired him to set up office space uh, for Apple. And, and, you know, this was in this was in the real early days. And uh, so, yeah, he ended up working for Apple, you know, setting yeah, up the ergonomics what Apple, of offices. What, 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 what he knew more than anything, more than anybody, was how to finesse a product. In other words, how he wanted a product to work for him. And, and, uh, you and know. materials meant something to him. Oh, he was very, looking for materials, certain kinds of glass and metal that he wanted to make, he thought were artsy and, and yeah, made a product good feel good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he did that with his stores. That's why his stores yeah, were gorgeous. designed the way they were. Yeah. But I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think that impetus is there at Apple any longer. No. Uh, I, I, think they're, I think what they are doing is they're trying to imitate what Steve would do. You know, they're also that, continually yeah. just updating the existing products. I don't see any new products really. But they're trying uh, to get into streaming service. It looks like that's what it sounds like. They're trying to compete with Netflix. Would, yeah, but that's that's just a sidebar thing with them. No, I mean they they keep coming they keep coming up with better iPhones, you know, and with the newer but, but, newer stuff. But not better enough that like I don't know maybe it's because we're getting numb to it. But mm -hmm. not better enough that I feel like I need to have it. There's well, nothing it, it, on these phones at this point yeah. where I go, man, that I have to have. Yeah, except exactly. the two, the two, two lines. lines that made me buy this new phone. Otherwise, I had the last phone I bought was an iPhone five. Every other one I bought used as when my phones died, I bought them on eBay. Yeah, the iPhone five was the best looking one. No, you know, I, it was, I, I it was think, smaller, I, I, but it was, I, I, I it was th definitely the best looking. I think the X is the best looking so far. Really? Yeah. Well, who can tell anymore? Because now you got to have a case, and uh, you know who, who knows. Well, I mean, you, you do a, you do ruin it with the case this. because this is it is edge to edge, you know, and you don't yeah. know you don't notice that when you just put an edge on it, you know. Right. It looks nice. Um, and you know. I think the first the first time it was a problem was when the antenna didn't work. Uh, I don't remember if that was the iPhone yeah, they, five. Or, that was four. the four. Yeah, and, and, they, and you and had they, to get a case. Yes, and they sold those. They gave you those. They had those border cases. Yeah, that yeah. was just the border. A strip of plastic. Yeah, you, you filled out a little thing. There was a little mm -hmm. app. You filled that out, and they mailed that to you. Yeah. What, what 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 was the one recently? The batteries weren't lasting long on, so that if you had to replace uh, no, the no, they had a oh, the Apple uh, Watch thing in their update that would uh, make the phone sort of obsolete and it would lose. No, it that would, charge no, that's as not much. what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, they, they had they, the battery. They had something. Issue. They had something where there was a battery issue, and you could come well, in yes. and you could get a new. It wouldn't last as long. So for twenty nine bucks, they would replace the battery right. or something. I, I got I got a new one in my 6s. Yeah, yeah. And I I had a uh, my last Apple Watch was uh, a um, um, the the battery. The all of a sudden I noticed that the, the the case was starting to come undone. It was you know whatever, and it turned out it was the battery, and that it had problems and was ex expanding and pushing was the case that, apart. Could that have yeah. exploded? No, like the no, ones on the no, airplanes no, and stuff no, and burn no. burn you like they do in some of the Apple phones? watches never burned. No, no. The, but it, it it did have a tendency to I forget what they call it. Uh, uh, batteries sometimes can expand and they were expanding their particular batteries. So I went down, they put a new one in for me for free, you know. And even though the watch was over a year old when it happened. Um but uh that's you know that that's a kind of thing they 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 they've had they have problems with their phones there's no question about it you know but uh, they're still stylistically 
there's nothing better, you know. And, you know what and, I wonder, Alex? And, well, he me... died young, Jobs, right? He, what, you know how yeah. did he even hit sixty? No, no. no. Like fifty-eight. I, I think. I wonder if anybody knows what he had on his plate, like what he would have liked to have done if he had any other type of well, ideas. Maybe he died. Around. Maybe he died because he ran out of ideas. That could be too. You know, uh, you know what they need is an iPhone that's a flip phone or a, like a clamshell kind they of. They have the flip phone. Flip, they have, Sam, I'm tired of pocket like, dialing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Samsung already has one. Yeah, yeah but I want an iPhone that's you know I want to be in that. Well, realm. I'm, you're, I'm sure if it's popular enough, people will. Apple will do it too. It's a clamshell. My favorite they, phone was a Nextel. Uh, the but uh, it, 1000 but it is it's a clamshell that when you open it up has a seamless screen oh i saw that on uh, one of those tech shows that is pretty neat yeah yeah i think the next best, best thing is going to be wearables again more wearables they remember with the google, google glasses, glasses they were way ahead of their time the, mm -hmm. the, they tried something i think it was a little bit too early but i think wearables are going to be Huge. You know, you know what it was is it got a bad rap because people thought you were uh, filming them and they and they got angry. Yes. And uh, so well, no, it was, you, it was a the, social thing. It, what, they, they had every reason to fear that because you could be. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. You absolutely could. Well, what's the difference? You're in public. Why can't you film them? Yeah, but you, uh, you're you're not allowed to film in public. Sure you are. No, you are not, Phil. I'm yeah, telling you uh, now, I know about this. Okay. You know, the uh, only the, it, if I if I were to go down, uh, I, there are certain situations where I can I can videotape people, right. uh, but I can't do it in a in a indoor venue because that's not a, in an indoor. It's venue. a private venue. Outdoors, right. I can do people walking down the street, but if I put it in a commercial, I've got to blur out their faces, right, right or get a release. So right. there are very few places you can actually take video and use it. Uh, because the street. You, because you shot it on the street. That's uh, yeah. you, you, well. You, if it's news, you don't have to blur out a face. Well, that's you know, news, if, Phil. If it's journalism, it, it, yes. But uh, how do I justify that what I'm doing is journalism? Uh, it's very simple. There's something else uh, involved, but you, you don't have to justify it. If yes, it's you do you have can, to. No. You can you can you can video and photograph Phil, Phil, in public. Phil, Phil, I'm telling anytime. you now. Any of the photographs that you have where you have pictures of people. I can't sell them commercially. You can't sell them commercially. Well, there's your answer right there. And maybe you shot well, them outdoors. Yeah, but I, I can display them. I can print them. I can, uh, I if can someone, sell them. If someone, but so no, for commercial no, if use, some, if, some, if somebody money. wanted to sue you they, for, for just even using their image in a show, let's say, where you weren't making any money, they could probably still sue you. Unless it was news. Unless it was news, and in that <laughs> case, in you know, like in the Magruder case, tapes. In many you know, that's news. It, 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 huh? The Magruder <laughs> film. The Zapruder. Zapruder. Yeah. The I think he started Zionism. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 Magruder. It, yeah, it was Ben Gurion who shot Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> How do you have No, it was Ted Cruz's father. Yeah, but anyway. Well, that was. That was funny that he called him. He was in on a conspiracy. Yeah, but anyway, the, the point I'm making is is that no, it, it used to be a lot easier, uh, but as time has gone on, we've become a very litigious society. You know, I mean, when we did Midnight Blue, we got releases on everyone, and if we were shooting on the street and we were, we were shooting just people walking down the street, we would sometimes get releases on them if they were if we could really see them. And the reason we would do that is because of the nature of our program, they could complain that they were being used in porno, you know, or whatever. What about the uh, the the uh, photos that you own to uh, uh, for, uh, that were street photos and, and so forth that that gal left you? What street, uh, what street photos, Phil? I thought, uh, oh, she wasn't like uh, Meyer, the uh, Vivian Meyer. Well, I guess she, she, may, took she may have some photos. stuff she took at, uh, at at parties and things like that. Like I just ran into one of the photographs the other day of, of Andy Warhol. But the fact of the matter is that most of the stuff that she did, at least that I'm going to use, she did for Midnight Blue, and every one of those shoots, we had release. model releases signed like crazy. I mean, if somebody yeah. sneezed in the room, we had them sign a model release. 
Oh, wow. yeah. Now, I don't know where those model releases are now, but people will say to themselves, well, I did sign a model, model's release on that, so. And then also, yeah. I think Isn't she, there a statute of limitations on any of that? Those things are 40, 50 years old. Well, I mean, I'm counting most of those people are dead and can't sue me, you know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I mean, they, they did sign, they did sign releases. And Midnight Blue had the releases, and I don't know where they are now. But I could say they signed releases. And uh, also, there's another, there's another situation where I think she probably somewhere, we haven't looked through the whole thing, probably has a file full of releases herself for stuff she did, yeah. you know, on her own whatever um, you know but I, I, I I've asked myself that question and and I, as I remember everybody who ever was on Midnight Blue signed a release you know, at least while I was there I don't know what they did after I left hello uh, Patrick hi <laughs> hi I'm Patrick um, yeah I'm Patrick I'm a Star Wars collector and uh, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. How do you feel about? Hi, Patrick. How do you feel about uh, Star Wars uh, now being bought up by uh, who was it? Uh, uh, Disney. Disney. Well, I'll be honest with you. There's only one advantage that I see now that the Fox Corporation has been bought up by Disney mm -hmm. is the fanfare music at the beginning of the Star Wars movies yeah. will turn. That's the only thing, because the last couple of Star Wars movies that Disney has done yeah. have the 20th Century Fox music oh. fanfare at the beginning. And to me, that always, no matter what movie it was, whether it's Star Wars or not, if you're if you're in the Fox movie, yeah. and I heard that, Star Wars always came into my head. Yeah, yeah but so, those, aren't, those aren't Fox movies anymore. Right, but, but they will more than likely insert that music they, because... They, they can't because that's 20th Century Fox. Yeah, but Disney owns them. No. I thought that's what just Fo happened. Oh, uh, yeah, Fo day. yes, yes, you're right. You're right, you're right. They they bought Fox, right. Yeah, yeah. so they can insert that back into... See, they, the bought, they bought up they so much, I can't remember what they bought up. By the way, right. look, look, at what I'm, look at what I've done here. This, tell me which is cooler. Wait a minute. Let me do something here first. Oops. No. No. Cancel there. Now I want to move over here. Okay. Now you you see I have I have Mickey. Can you can you people see that? Can you see they Mickey? See it. Uh, yeah, over it's here. a little overexposed. Kind of over, over here to the people who are watching. Well, in fact, let me uh, let me just uh, go to my. Uh, my screen here so that they can see this but i i want to know what you think is cooler okay there there is mickey, I have a mickey too. there's mickey okay uh yeah the, oops i mean hold, Wait, on, hold yeah. on there's mickey all right yeah now that's, uh, uh, that's one Mi that's one mickey now let me show you the next mickey that i have i i, I took another way of showing mickey what do you think of that See the difference? It's the black. See your knuckles. It's the black and white Mickey. Oh well, yeah. I like black and white. Huh? Yeah, Isn't that I think cool? traditional might be better, you know. I think I'm going to keep it in in, in black and white because I <laughs> I like it that way. Okay. But anyway, so I have Mickey in black and white now. Retro Mickey. Retro. It's it's the same Mickey as in color, but he's in black and white. And they call it classic Mickey, right, Mickey? It's eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but I think Mickey sounds perverted. Mickey. <laughs> hey, hey, Kevin. You put how him you, in your pocket. Be how you doing? What are you going for, Tony? We don't need to see your your toys. I want to see my. Oh gosh, you had Mickey. Look, I got it from Disney for my mother. Oh, okay. All right. Did your mother um, play with it? Is he in the case? Collect this item. Yeah, how much, how much, of the, how much of that Mickey, how, how much of that Mickey cost you? I think this is a couple hundred bucks. This one I got one. Oh, really? Well, I got you beat. This Mickey's worth six hundred. <laughs> so. Not if you want to resell it. <laughs> yeah, uh, but anyway, um, 
So let's uh, let's get to the uh, get uh, guess the elephant in the room. I don't know. Uh, uh, we had a little. Uh, we have word now that Mueller has completed his investigation and turned his findings over to Barr, the Attorney General, who is now, it's now up to him how much of it he wants to release. What do you think is going to happen to it? I think it's going to be pretty transparent. Uh, you know. I don't uh, care what you think. What do the other people think? We know <laughs> what, get one, we know what you think. We know what lame excuse you're going to give. But the question it's is, get well, we'll, we'll, we'll see you apologize week. when when he's exonerated. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get washed for the next week, and we'll get what we get. Yeah, and then there'll be a fight into the courts, yeah, and eventually, and we'll get to out, see it all. Did, did you see how four long was the case uh, closed? Four long uh, uh, Schumer looked today. Well, no, we're going to ask for it. <laughs> you know? That's okay. You no, know, because I didn't see him on any shows anywhere, and people saying, look how forlorn he is. Well, I saw I him, and I thought he was. He always looks that way. He always no, has his glasses. Anytime you, anytime you wear your glasses born. like yeah, this. Yeah, do the glasses. That's what he does. Yeah, yeah. that's him. It's like he, he just looks. <laughs> and, Lindsay, and Lindsay Graham is down in Mar logo under the desk with Trump, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's going. Oh, okay, okay. Whatever you say, Donald. <laughs> Didn't he get pissed at Donald Trump during the uh, campaign because Trump gave out uh, Lindsey Graham's phone number on his cell phone? Yeah, he got yeah. pissed, and then he blew him, and then he got pissed, and he blew him, and then he got pissed, and he they blew, blew him. him. So it's, you know, it's off and on. He's mm -hmm. got an off and on relationship. Yeah, with. yeah. Um, do you, it, uh, Rob? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think uh, you think they? going to wind up in the courts. You don't think we're going to see what it says? No, not without it going to court. Okay. You're going to get a you're going to get a synopsis of what they want you to say. And of course, you're going to get immediately from the White House, see no collusion. See everything is a, a sham. See? See? Plus it's true. Well. <laughs> and all the Democrats uh, hold, hold on a second. I'm trying to call somebody back here. Uh, and then we'll see what, what happens with all the information that uh, Mueller turned over to the Southern District of New York. Yeah. Uh, Brian Neary, if you're listening, I'm calling you back. So you can call the show now if you want to. There we go. Wait a minute. Go. Uh, Brian? Uh, Brian, you, turn off your Brian, audio. Brian. Brian. Brian, can you hear us? Can you oh, hear us? I saw that on uh, one of those tech shows. There. Brian! Do you hear I us? Okay, well, goodbye, Brian. Uh, I know Brian. I'll text him. And yeah, him. tell him he's a moron. Uh, <laughs> he's actually a very nice guy. <laughs> you just did. Yeah. Oh, here he is again. From now. <laughs> Brian, are you there, Brian? And, uh, Brian. Brian, are you there? Yes, Alex. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to turn down your your audio because yeah, the, I got it. Yeah, okay. Now show us your picture, and we'll be ready to go. <laughs> if you want to show us your picture, we otherwise yeah, you're going to take a click look. on the camera thing at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Bottom. Yeah. You say you know this guy, Phil? Yeah. Yeah, we chatted a little bit, and we know some common friends, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Brian's uh, got a uh, beautiful uh, car. Uh, is it Cadillac, uh, like a 58 or something? Yeah, 57. Yes, yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. gorgeous. So does my and, grandmother. Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, Brian, <laughs> turn. can you turn? Do you see where there's a camera on the Skype there? Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you are. Okay, now we got you. Yeah. Uh, newbies, we always have to treat with kid gloves because they can't figure the whole thing out. It's like a big mysterious world they're in, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but let's see here. Uh, if you call Brian near your current call, will be pulled or put on hold. Well, that's, that's no longer important. That's old business. Yeah. It's old business. No, but here, uh, uh, our question is: I mean, what's going to happen with the uh, with the with the whole the, with the whole report? I mean, is it going to be swept uh, swept under the rug? Nah, that, the Democrats will never let that happen. R really? 
It's going to be a fight to the finish, and they're going to subpoena everything. It'll come out. It may take after the next election for that to happen, but it may, it'll all come out. Yeah. Trump says he wants it released. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. just like yeah, he right. wanted to talk to uh, Mueller. Yeah. But it's going to be – well, he didn't, but it's going to be uh, you know, up to uh, Barr – uh, to release it, and I think Barr is a, a uh, is is a genuinely good guy. I think just like Mueller, he's a stooge. No, nah, no, no way. He's he's got a, a very good reputation. Scott Boddicker wrote, and Alex wonders why no new people want to call in. <laughs> well, it's because you beat him up, you know. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, it, it's frustrating for me because it, you know, we're trying, we try to do a show here, and then we have to deal with some kind of technical problem that somebody has, and they can't hear us because they got the audio up, and we're yelling and screaming, and you know. That, well, well, why don't you just say "get off my lawn"? That's possible. <laughs> hey, I was surprised you said "turn up." Brian, mind. get off my lawn. <laughs> So what do you do, Brian? Uh, so I'm in uh, San Jose, California, yeah. and a uh, big fan of yours from Live 105 Days. Yeah. Uh, when you did all your breakfast with Bennett's and everything, we used to call in right. to get the tickets, right. and it would be like first in line. So when you guys came in and you saw those crazy kids uh, first in line, that was me. So <laughs> um, though I'm in biotech. So we, I have a company that um, I work for a company about 15 years now, mm -hmm. and we test uh, for infectious disease using the DNA. So we oh, okay. swap them into a cartridge, yeah, and then we do the testing from there. So I've been there since the startup. Oh, so, okay, good. Yeah, good, good. stuff. So, have you cured any diseases yet? No, we just do detection. So, uh, detection. but for flu, flu season is huge for us. So. We do about 58 million cartridges a year uh, worldwide global, so it's pretty big. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is interesting. Is it exciting work? It's exciting work. So I'm in manufacturing. So when we first started, uh, I was employee 75. We have over 2,000. And then another company acquired us, really big company. So uh, yeah, it's really exciting. Did you have some, do you have some of that early stock or whatever? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, good for you. Good for you. I live in California in San Jose, so I have to. <laughs> <laughs> but have, are you rich enough now you can move to San Francisco? No, I just visit. <laughs> but Brian, you drive a 70-year-old car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Can't get anything I newer? I saved a bunch of tickets and stuff like that. So I have a bunch of, like, Brexit with Bennett tickets oh, and really? some of the... The Christmas shows and Rob, you know, Schimmel, Robert Schimmel, and a bunch of those tickets. So, wow. pretty cool to have those ticket stubs and stuff. Good memories. Wow. Every now and then, people send me stuff or send mm -hmm. me pictures of stuff they have. Yeah. And and so I I'm literally I have one person that's now sending me all a lot of clips of old shows from WPLJ in New York. Oh, I'd love to hear those. Uh, well, I I've been thinking about putting some of them on the air. You, know. you should do oh, it. Yeah. Do they get I'd them up like the sa that sound check site? Well, I have one from the day that Nixon resigned. The cheese that was sent to me on PLJ. Yeah, on, P on PLJ. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, I'm sure I'll have another tape of the day that uh, the Trump resigned. So you know, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a complete <laughs> set. I'm looking side by side. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on getting. Um, but um, um, I just don't. I just don't know what it's going to hold. These, these, uh, uh, you know, the, the Mueller <laughs> findings. But I think that whatever he reports, you can you can count, count on an honest uh, appraisal of it. And just remember, Phil, when you want to put him down, he is a Republican. Yes, Patrick. I'm not putting him down. Oh, you're you know, always putting he, he was doing a job. I just think it was a witch hunt, and it wasn't necessary. Oh, okay. Was the Clinton oh, uh, on, impeachment a thing a witch hunt? Of course not. Uh, yeah, I guess it was, too. Oh, okay. All right. As long you as know, because what did they find? They, they found a blowjob. Yeah, they found you know? a blowjob. And, and maybe we'll find a blowjob here, for all we know, you know. Not well, according to the dossier. You know, I, I, I didn't get the creeps when I thought of... of of Clinton getting a blowjob from Monica Lewinsky because she looked like she had really blowable lips. Um, 
Uh, but I, I would get uh, the creep factor came in when I thought of him fucking, uh, you know, what's her name? Um, Jennifer Flowers. Uh, Flowers. No, no, not not. I'm off of Clinton. I'm on the Trump. Uh, just the idea of anybody. Oh, the hooker, uh, the dancer. Uh, they're not hookers. Stormy Daniels. Yeah. Stormy. She's not a hooker. She's a stand-up really? comic. And now she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but I, uh, the, the idea of, of anybody blowing Donald Trump with his little, what they have described as a mushroom dick, it just oh is very upsetting to me emotionally. Yes, Patrick. Um, I just can't imagine... Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez leaving that alone. I think if anybody has a hard on for Donald Trump and that investigation, it's going to be her. And she's going to be the one that's going to be pushing it, pushing it. <coughs> Even if the old guard, so to speak, uh, doesn't want to be rattling too much before the elections, um, the new, the new chick is going to try to uh, push her way around. I think you're. And I think you're giving. I, I think you're giving her less credit than you should. Um, to begin more with, credit. no less credit. Really, uh, I don't think she's that stupid. In fact, you got to appreciate something that she's she's new at what she's doing. She studies and reads every document of everything that she's going into a committee to hear. So wow. that she can ask the right question. Yeah, I heard a story today about the fact that she is famous for staying, you know, for the night before reading all the materials that she wow, has to read to impressive. be fully informed about what she's going to be going into committee on. Uh, I think you should have a little more respect for this woman. They don't want to like her because she's a, she's a toughie, you know. Uh, and her and, misappropriation of the eight hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars in funds. Where was this? She's got her own. Phil, problems. Phil, where did you hear about this? What do you mean, where? <laughs> where did you hear about that? It's one? all over the news. It oh, is yeah. really. How come yeah. I haven't heard about it? Well, that's because you got your head in the sand. Yeah, I see. And, and okay. With all those democratic. Uh, Rob, did you hear? Wanna... Did you, Did you hear anything about She's this, Rob? Person. Did you hear anything about it, Patrick? Bird. Did you hear anything uh, about it, Brian? How about you, nope. Charlie? Did you hear anything about it? Well, I'm not going to ask, uh, 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 you know, uh, Tony because it's it's not a cartoon character. Uh, That's true. <laughs> uh, uh, did you hear about this, uh, 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 Kevin? You you're you're up. Yeah, I read it on the Drudge. Uh, did, you, <laughs> did you read it on Drudge? Yeah. Well, okay. Drudge is nothing more than a site that directs people at other sites. It does other direct sites. people to news maps, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, 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 New what York all Times, that, New, York, oh. New York Daily <laughs> News. Wait a minute, hold uh, on a second. Rob's get, shut up, Rob's getting ice. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, New York Daily News, campaign may have funneled money to her boyfriend. Um, 800 and... Uh, yeah. Campaign laundered money through a what is the, to pay her what is, boyfriend. And what is the source on this? Uh, New York Daily News. Politics section. Yeah. Well, they, they were uh, CNN. Uh, surprise, surprise, emerging campaign finance scandal. Uh, uh, AOC isn't as clean as she... Well, let me get past the headline. Uh, well, I like her. AOC could face jail time for campaign shenanigans. That's the new American. Uh, what, what's the so new American? You know, just what, because you sh you shoved your head in the sand doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But it doesn't, doesn't mean that it does exist because these people are saying it does. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm like, just find a, a few a, more. D d d we don't have time to waste on this, Phil. <laughs> yes, Patrick. Oh, you, you don't. You just don't want to hear it. No, I want to be able to when I jerk off to thinking about her to be able to do it without the image of her. Her, her, her. her yeah. The only part about my jerking off to this story would be that she might wind up in jail and then be in prison garb, and that's kind of sexy. You know. Yeah, no, I, I like the Catholic schoolgirl look. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, yes, Patrick. Uh, it wasn't that I wasn't giving her enough credit. 
Mm -hmm. I was merely indicating that her being new, uh, coming off like bossy and trying to take over is what I see. And I see that as how this court will likely get fast-tracked maybe a little quick, more quickly than what Rob is thinking. I, I don't disagree with Rob. I think it's probably going to come out in drips and drabs. Yeah. But I think, I think perhaps Nancy Pelosi, if it doesn't have anything that is amazingly, you know, ready to in, uh, impeach him, she may want to uh, soft pedal it and push it back until after the election. Mm -hmm. And AOC may want to just keep pushing it. So that's what I'm getting at. I, I don't think, I don't know that AOC would necessarily do that. I think she might say something to the effect of, I think we should do something about it, but leave it at that and not, not stonewall Nancy Pelosi on the whole deal. I think, I, I think Pelosi's stance on the thing was the perfect stance to take, you know, and that was, no, we're not, we're not looking at impeachment as an answer to all of this, unless something comes out that makes it so compelling that we have to do that. Uh, and I think that that was an appropriate response on her part. And I think she had to, she, it was good of her to take the heat off the Democrats of saying, oh, well, you know what they're trying to do? They're out to get the president, okay? This takes that kind of talk off the table, that they're out to get the president. No, I, I agree with you. I, I agree with you, but I, I just see uh, Alexandria as trying to make her mark early, and she is in many ways, and I just see her as she may not go against uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, to, you know, where she would embarrass her in public, but I could see her pushing and pushing and pushing just to get her name out there and to be a force. It could I mean, be. It could be. It could, well, and she yeah. got quite a bit of, um, I won't say power yet, but, you know, everybody knows who she is. So, Could it be? Could it be, uh, uh, Patrick, and let, let give, me, give me this maybe, that the, the, if she has a problem, it's that she's new and she is what could we call it enthusiastic okay she she wants she wants to do her job i mean the fact that she does do all this studying before she goes into a committee and has to ask questions which i'm sure nobody on the panel is, has done the night before they had somebody else read the material to them or to give them a briefing on what was there uh, she's ready with the proper questions in fact if you looked at the questions she was asking uh, in a hearing recently, what hearing was she at that uh, she recently asked questions? Um, I'm trying to remember who the who who the um, uh, who it was with. He, she had good questions. She she you know. So I think she's enthusiastic about what she's doing, and I think she dr jumped in with both feet. She also had a secondary problem. She is a terribly attractive woman. All right. And the press loved jumping on her as a news item because they could show her. Okay. I think most guys would want to jump on her too. Yeah. So. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying she reminds is, me of Rosario well, Dawson. You know, the one that's it, yeah. uh, doing Cory Booker. Well, the point is, yes, they're both ethnic, Phil. Uh, the the <laughs> the point is that that uh, uh, she's gotten a lot of attention more because of how different she looks as a politician than most female politicians. And uh, that has put a lot of spotlight on her for everything that she does. If she said the thing she's saying and she didn't look as good as she looked, and I'm, yes, I'm talking sexist here, folks. Uh, but didn't look, as good, years old. didn't look as good as she looked. She's 29. 29, yeah. yeah. Wrong again, everybody have a drink. 29. Uh, but she, no, she was, um, uh, if she wasn't as good at looking as she is, she probably wouldn't get as much attention paid to everything she says that she does. But she stands out. I mean, when, when they were uh, there at the State of the Union address 
and you had all the women in white standing there. She was there, and she just stood out from the rest of them. It just like you know, it, it, she just looked. She looked terrific. <laughs> you know, uh, so uh, that, that's why I think you're hearing a lot of things about her, and everybody's trying to get stuff on her, and you know, because she's a she is a flavor of the month when when it comes to the press. Um, but how about Cory Booker, huh? He's doing okay. Do you want to be? What if you don't make it for the presidency? Who gives a shit? I'm going with Rosario Dawson. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, know? really. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the, Slayton used to have a joke, and but he always told it as truth, even though it wasn't. He says he was walking through the. Uh, she was. He was walking through the uh, through the uh, <coughs> marina one day in San Francisco, and he bumped into Joe DiMaggio. And he said, how do you feel about, and I'm trying to remember which, uh, which ball player it was, is going to beat your record. It looks like he's going to beat your record. And he says, why should I care? I fucked Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. so, <laughs> uh, yeah. I had a, so why should I care? I, I'm, I'm fucking Rosario Dawson. Yeah. A uh, friend of mine worked on that movie Rent. And uh, Rosario Dawson was in it, and he was uh, the chiropractor on the set, and he was giving everybody adjustments, and he adjusted Rosario Dawson, and he told me that she was really built, you know, that she was just a, a phenomenal uh, body. Yeah, but she also uh, happens to be very bright, very smart, right up uh, 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 Cory Booker's al uh, political alley. I mean, they both share the same. In fact, she may be more lefty than he is, you know. And uh, um, I, I, somebody was saying today, I was watching TMZ, and they were talking about the factor that if Cory Booker, um, uh, say, decides, you know, is, runs, this whole romance he's having with Rosario Dawson could help get him nominated. Just simply because it's going to get press everywhere, not only on the news programs, but it's also going to get in press in like People magazine. Uh, and that, uh, uh, you know, it, it, the question is, if he were to if he were to become president of the United States, he would be a bachelor president. Uh, unless, of course, he marries Rod Rosario Dawson, in which case she'd be the first lady. And in my, in, in my opinion, um, She'd look a hell of a lot better than that tramp Melania. So anyway, uh, that's not that's not nice. That skank Melania Trump. <laughs> yeah, there is nothing on Melania Trump that wasn't store bought. Okay, her tits were store bought. Her cheeks were store bought. She probably had. She's on her tenth facelift. One more, she's going to have a beard. You know, I mean, uh, it probably looks like my mother without the man. We're <laughs> I read something earlier today that, that said you. that uh, Trump is going to win the next election in a landslide. So all of these, you know, guys that are going so far to the left, you know, they can't get to the left fast enough. It's going to be another McGovern uh, route. You know, uh, and and no matter who they dream on, Phil. Yeah, no, no, no. You guys dream on. <laughs> uh, I it's, think it's going to be I, I a think, route like you've never seen. I, I think what the Democrats need God is a, is somebody to the the left. I mean, the, some of these people are trying to go as left as they can at this point to out left the next guy. Right. But the fact is, the person who is going to win against Trump is going to have to be a person who knows how to <laughs> be to the left, but closer to the middle. In other words, knows how to make. Uh, people who are not lefties but are in the middle or maybe even a little to the right feel comfortable with them. That's Biden, and he doesn't have a chance. He may be number well, one Well, you right said now. that's Biden, and then you said he doesn't have a chance. So how is it Biden? Well, that you describe Biden, and I'm saying that Biden doesn't have a chance. So, uh, so the person that you say is ideal uh, fits the Biden uh, scenario. Biden's only drawback, in my opinion, to tell you the damn truth, is his age. I and his baggage. No different than Trump. Huh? I know. That's but, no different than Trump. Yeah, but Trump's already president, right? You know, yeah. so he can get old in the job. What we're talking True. about is somebody <laughs> taking over the job for the first time, and probably at his age, it's going to be very hard for him to go for a second term. 
Yes, Charlie. Remember H.W. Bush when he said, read my lips, no new taxes, and he oh, did, yeah. and he broke that promise? Yeah. Well, Trump said, I'm the only one in the Republicans who will never cut Medicare, who will never yeah. cut Social Security, who will yeah. never cut Medicaid. And what is his budget for next year? <laughs> that is what's going to sink him. There's no way he's getting reelected after doing That's that. A good point, yeah. Uh, Bill, he has not who, done anything for the common man. Uh, he has who, not who makes done the, anything. Who, who presents the budget? Is it I'll tell you, you know what's, you know what's going to kill? Or you know, it you know what's going to kill Trump? Is this huh. year when the middle class gets their tax bill. I already had to pay more this year. Yep. Right, brother, mm -hmm. So where was that tax cut? There was no tax cut for me. Oh, well, there, there, there was. You know, there's, there's some leanings mm. that, uh, you know, there's, they're saying that there's a recession on the, uh, on oh, the oh, uh, oh, thing. Oh. But you know, you sound like, you sound like Sanders. <laughs> you, you're trying to, you're trying to. Uh, Defend him in any way you can. Now, yeah, Rob, Rob is about he deserves everybody being I, defended. Everybody I know, Rob is, paid. is about as middle American as you can get. And if he's been hurt tax wise, uh, I may even be hurt tax wise. Although my my uh, 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 I do have an advantage in that uh, I can take off more as a personal deduction than I did before. But still, I, and and, I, and and yes, yes, Kevin. I, I have a very basic, no write-off type tax return, mm -hmm. and mine had about a probably about a seven hundred dollar difference. What higher? No, it, well, I got less back. You got less back, is what you're saying. So all you guys really keep basic. saying. Hey, hold it, hold, hold, hold on. You're, you're all hold. saying. You know, I want to pay more taxes. I want to pay more taxes because I want more not benefits. Phil, the Phil, rich. Phil, shut you're the not, fuck up. Phil, yeah. you're not you're not addressing the situation. Yeah. You're making I'm, light. I'm an, you're I'm making an, light of it. No, you're not. You're I'm making a light of it. Uh, 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 I get a I don't 20%. Give a shit what you are, Phil. We're not. That's not what we're talking about. Hold it. Hold it. That's yeah, well, not you what said, we're talking about. What are you going to do when you pay your taxes? Well, I'm a subchapter S corporation, and it means that I get a twenty percent discount right off the top because mm -hmm. of how much? Uh, small how, are you going to pay more taxes this year, Phil? I don't think so. Well, I bet I you. Think I'm I bet. Get a I bet. Good I, I bet you do. Hmm? I bet you. When do, do you file? What do you? Waiting I just for? filed an extension. I wasn't ready. You filed quarterly. Well, we're also talking about the middle class, working class person. Well, yeah. What, yeah. what, what am I? Workers. What about your workers? All, no. yeah. All Pat, those people yeah. from you Wisconsin. Mean, well, they, they're not legal. They how about you? How about you? Bro, <laughs> how about you? All those people from Pennsylvania and yeah. Wisconsin that he promised all these things to. Another yeah. promise that he made. Well, they don't have to worry about it. Okay. They don't well, have jobs. Let me just ask Brian. Then I want to go to Patrick. Uh, Brian, uh, uh, how about your taxes this year? Going to go up? Going to go down? Uh, I'm not getting as much back, but like my tax guy, you know, DMV, all these little things. I think you mentioned it the other night. Yeah. You know, a lot of the stuff that I used to give him, he's saying after this year, there's no use of giving him those. The donations for goodwill, yeah, you know, yeah. some of those items that you mentioned before. Yeah, he's saying there's no use. I That's used right. to do that like two or three times a year, donate, you know, and yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, it, it's just, just very so you're gonna So be, you're going to be hurt somewhat by this. Oh, 100 percent. OK, yep. how about you, Patrick? Um, isn't the reason that many of us are getting less back in, in a refund because yes. we're able to keep more of our money because right. of holding adjustments? That's right. I mean, to me, that is a positive. And I remember when I was working full time, I never wanted a refund because that meant that okay. I had too much hold out for my withholding that the government had yeah, right. versus me being able to spend all year okay, long. Okay, but let, well, okay, but in the was you come out even. Thank yeah, you, Patrick. Yeah, but but yeah, well, thank you, Patrick. But Rob, uh, are you didn't change it, anything? And it, I I had to pay this year. Okay, so there there's a case where your your philosophy is anything. wrong, Patrick. I know a bunch of people that that well, happened to. Hey, I'm the sure same wait a minute, wait a minute. Will you same listen? Same to, Charlie's holding, talking, they're, Phil. They're, Mm -hmm. Say it, Charlie. Yeah. What were you saying? Charlie? He said he knew a bunch we, of people. We didn't right hear now. you because you yeah, were interrupted. The, 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 right what happened to the Rob happened to them, where they didn't change any of their deductions or whatever. They didn't change uh, anything, made the same amount of money, and ended up owing money. 
my brother had to take out 401ks and still wound up paying almost two thousand dollars yep so so and, and none of that before. and and none of that was like i didn't get as much back as i got before i'm still getting something back but it's less so that, that kind of that's what you were saying patrick and that doesn't isn't isn't the case with a lot of other people you should have donated to the trump foundation yeah. Ah, how about you, you Kevin? How about right you, off. Kevin? You 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 have the same problem? Yeah, and I and I made more donations this year, and that kind of offset some of the stuff. But it still would have been ugly if I didn't make those donations. Well, this is the first year that I had to take the twenty four thousand dollar. I couldn't use my my mortgage; it didn't make it with all the money I pay in the mortgage. Nothing I could deduct, even my home office and all that, didn't equal the twenty four thousand dollar. Uh, deduction, the, the standard deduction. So it makes taxes easy, but it takes away my ability to get any money back. Well, also what they did is they, they, they yes, they lowered the tax rate, but on the other hand, they did away with a lot of the things you used to be able to take off so that in the long run, people wound up paying more than they yeah, had paid in previous years. So you Trial like all tax. the loopholes? You you like Trial the loopholes that are there for the rich? Oh, I lo uh, the loopholes well, are rich also still have them. No. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the rich, rich still, still have, have them, and maybe more for all we know. <laughs> yeah, that, because by the way, by the way, Phil, the the, the tax the tax cut was only about one year, two years. How many years was it for? Two years. Two, two years, something like that. And how many was it for the rich? I thought it was seven years. What you mean for corporations? The corporations right, usually yes, don't but most of most of the very wealthy people, most of the wealthy people have corporations, and they funnel their money. They pay themselves only what they need. Yeah, he's right. About okay, that. because I know I had a corporation. But you can only leave oh, so much money I, in a corporation. Hold on a second, Phil. Dollars. Shut up! I know what I'm talking about because so I used what? to do it. No, you don't. Not like I do. I had a corporation, and really, what it was was left pocket, right pocket. When I needed money, I took it from the corporation. But when I didn't, we left it in the corporation because that way I still had more money. So you yeah, commingle the money, which pierces the veil of the corporation. You know, you, you if you pierce the corporate veil, God damn no right, and every every inch of it was legal. Yeah, uh, yeah. Who told you that? My sure. uh, my CPA, who so far is uh, not in jail, and he's in his eighties. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but he's being investigated. Your fixer. <laughs> My, yeah, my fixer, fixer, my fixer. <laughs> See what that did for Michael Cohen. Yeah, uh, but I mean, it, it uh, you know, all I'm saying is is that the people, when, when they suddenly, the average American sees how they get hit, why, why am I not getting, even if they say, well, I'm not Tell getting you. back what I used to because they got to keep more of it, the fact of the matter is they're still going to look at that as something bad, not something good. And he's then they this, look past their nose. He's hanging on this wall as a promise that he made, but he made a promise to everybody that he was going to have better, cheaper health care. And McCain made sure that didn't oh, that's happen. Just no, a bunch of McCain did what he McCain did what he did because it was repeal with no replace. That's the only reason McCain did that. Yeah. Yes, Patrick. One of the things that the Republicans, and I don't know why, it's almost as if my side, and not Republican, but just the right, seem to be completely blinded. We never put out a plan that countered Obamacare. When Obama introduced it, when Obama implemented it, when uh, Trump got elected, we never provided something that showed that we could do better, and we still haven't. Right. All that we did was try to repeal it, repeal it, repeal it, replace, but the replace was never given right. what was, what was going to replace it. And I, I, just, I shake my head when I watch Fox News or hear friends of mine talking about it, because we we never gave a different option. Our option was, well, we're going to get rid of Obamacare. Okay, right. well, what are you going to replace it with? We're going to get rid of it. Right, but what are you going to replace it with? We're going to get rid of it. No, I understand. <laughs> get rid of it. Don't you think that they would go back to the old way? That's not better. That That's didn't work. Good. It had it worked for years, expensive. but uh, you know the, the 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 problem was that. Uh, 
you didn't have uh, transparency in the old programs where you could shop. Uh, you know, when you give something away for free, people use it uh, just. Wait, was you know, I wasn't aware Obamacare was free. It was, there's nothing free well, about it, it. It was free for all of those that couldn't pay. What do you think uh, it is now? There, there's a subsidy. Obamacare is a subsidy. Yeah, but it, it was, never it, was completely free. Stop. Yeah, Obama, but it was, it was a, it was a Phil, government subsidy. Phil, can I say this? The reason Obamacare Stop. wasn't as good as it could have been is because of you fucking Republicans who would have stonewalled him if he tried to get anything meaningful, in, more meaningful I, in there. I, I he don't got think so. listen, Nancy Pelosi. Shut up. Let me finish. Really, you keep interrupting, and I and I'm trying. Well, I, I, I had a I thought here. I, I, Phil, stop it. Okay. Right. The fact of the matter is that now I forgot what I was going to say. That you're saying that, the Republicans didn't. Uh, the Republicans uh, did, would never have allowed him to pass anything that even approached a meaningful uh, system of medicine that would take care of people who needed it. And, Patrick, and, can I just answer this? No, you can't. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> and, and the Go to your room, I Phil. Got to add in was the Republicans had control of the House and the Senate for two years and could have passed anything. I mean, I looked at at our well, our state, my state, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. when the Republicans had the governor, the assembly, and the Senate. We put through everything that we wanted on my side because mm. we had the majority. And that could have been Trump and the majority in, in the Congress two years ago. But <laughs> nobody was doing it. And McCain's not the problem. It's the entire Republican Party that they just, they fucked it up for themselves. Now you're, bitch. you're agreeing with them, Rob. I completely agree with you, and I, I want you to answer this question. Do you think the Republicans really want to do something about health care? No. Or I, honestly, I I don't think so. I, I think the Republicans at this point, it just, it's just for tap. That, that all anything seems to be, I, I do believe Republicans, when Obamacare was introduced, I believe the brand Republican then did, but nobody knew how to go about it because they weren't in the majority. But they, and when I say didn't know how to go about it, nobody could articulate anything. Mm -hmm. There was no plan that was given as a counter. And if there was, and it was, you know, kind of backbench, they could have brought something that looked reasonable up two years ago and resurrected it as as a possible replacement. We never did that. So no, I don't think they want to do anything. I think if we're gonna just, we're pissed because we, we lost the, the, uh, the house. So now we're just gonna fuck around like we've had, you know, like we did all through Obama years. And it's, I mean, it's the same on both sides, but yeah, no, but they did at the time that you, you need to throw all of those bums out. But uh, this is gotta, the problem. Uh, but Phil, you got to admit, at least the Democrats, you may not like Obamacare. They got through what they could get through. And yeah. the and the Republican side didn't want to help. It was health care. It was health care. Hold on a second. It was health care. It was health care with compromise. Nobody and, knew and that's what the problem. was in the plan. It, uh, Pelosi said... Just, just pay. You don't have to read it. Just pass it. That, you know, nobody knew what was no, in there. Right. Well, uh, Brian, no, you I'm haven't. Wait, if you want to keep your doctor, you can keep him. If you want to keep your plan, you can keep it. You, you, it was one lie after another. Brian's <laughs> been very quiet. Any comment on any of this? <laughs> no, no. I just think with, with a lot of these things, it's you know, even if Trump gets out of office, it's going to take a while just to get back to norm, which is probably one of the hardest things, you know, with yeah. EPA and with school systems, with everything that he's trying to just get rid of just because of Obama. So, yeah, yeah. If, if Obama liked it, he wants it done away with. Yeah. 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 Yes, Patrick. Yeah. And, and Phil, I mean, I would I would encourage you to look back at my state and what we did from 2010 all the way until this last election, 
we did, there was a list of 41 things, I believe, that the Republican and conservatives in Wisconsin wanted done. And Scott Walker and the, um, the Assembly and the Senate got, I think you were like 38 out of the 41 done in an eight year period. That said we controlled everything. And the Republicans have no excuse the last two years on why they couldn't have at least introduced something in right. health care. I, I, I agree. They they have no excuse why they shouldn't yeah. have done but it. But Charlie has now, his hand up. Charlie has no. his hand up. The, the lie that the Republicans have fostered this whole time during, during, during Obamacare was that you couldn't guarantee to keep your doctor under the old system. I don't know how many times I had to change my doctor because our insurance company changed their network and my doctor was no longer in it. So there was no guarantee before Obamacare that you got to keep your doctor. Yeah, well, he said there was in the new he plan. Didn't, he was merely saying that didn't change is what he was trying to say. He wasn't saying. So he perpetrated saying, another lie. Who? He just misspoke. There's a difference. Trump lies. He doesn't misspeak. He <laughs> okay. actually lies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, Charlie. You, you know, the Third. last time the Senate uh, or the and the con the last time the Congress got anything done was uh, uh, who was the guy from Georgia that uh, uh, came in? Uh, was it in Car uh, Carter under Reagan? <laughs> uh, who, who, who was the uh, oh, under who was the Reagan? We got Georgia? stuff done under. Speaker. We got stuff done under Reagan. No, the spe he was the Speaker of the House uh, from Georgia. Can I say? Well, yeah, yeah. Tell on, Newt Gingrich. You know the guy. Is that on Newt Gingrich? Newt Gingrich. He Newt had a hundred point plan, and he he got those things accomplished. Yes, you know? Tony. We haven't had a Congress that has done anything <sighs> since this, then. This is and, a follow up to what Charlie just said, and and I can ask this to Phil. Phil, don't you think this is a problem where Charlie has to switch doctors? These doctors should take all the insurance. That's no, I don't think so, because the last doctor took six of his toes. No, but I mean, you see, you, you can't <laughs> answer, I mean, Phil. Die. You don't answer a question. Die. You you you, you, you don't, don't answer a question. You make a joke rather than this, answer. We don't take that. In, That's not fair. In lieu of answering a question, you say a joke, Phil. What's the difference? The, there is a big I difference because like you're not answering the question. He had a logical question to ask you. Yeah. You didn't answer. Oh, Charlie didn't... should have to change his doctors numerous times for me. These well, doctors should take all forms of insurance. Why? Because it's too much money. We don't want this one because we don't make as much money. You can change your insurance company. Uh, no, but if you work it, for a doctor, you can, can opt no, into you that can. system. No, I can't change my mind. employer. I'm going to tell my That's your employer's fault. You know, and that they, was going on a lot. This is what's there was a lot, of, a lot of doctors dropping insurance all over the place. Because they don't make enough of it. Hey, listen, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I know doctors now who don't even take insurance. You know, they, yeah. they don't take Medicare, but they don't take insurance. They say, they you, pay, about it. you yeah, pay, you paid. pay, and you go collect from your insurance company what you can collect. But here's what's yep. costing you. Yep. And uh, so then, what do you do then? You I, go to go to the insurance company. Because when you when you uh, I asked a doctor my doctor once I had a gastroenterologist and we were t just talking about you know getting paid, I said, who pays faster, Medicare or the insurance companies? He said, oh, Medicare. Yeah. He says, I, so uh, I I I put in a, a thing to Medicare and within three weeks it's in my account. He said the insurance companies it'll take six months of battling with them before we might ever see the money. Yep. Yep. So, Medicare for all. This code, this Medicare code is the all. right code. Or, uh, this code's not covered. Uh, but that's no. the problem, though, Phil. They should be accepting. So do you think it's going to be any better if the government doles out your Medicare? Medicare. For, Medicare. They want to take oh, yeah. Phil, so, I got to so, tell you, uh, Phil, Phil, really listen to me. Medicare read my lips, cost? Phil. Read my I lips. Don't know, maybe it's one read CBM. my lips. There yeah. is nothing wrong with Medicare. Yeah. Medicare. Wait a minute. Wrong. Let me look. Can I finish what I'm saying, Phil? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you. Yes. <laughs> Um, you were at the, 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 uh, there's the, nothing there's wrong nothing with wrong Medicare. With Medicare as once you get on Medicare, you're going to see there's nothing wrong with Medicare either. Though yeah. by the time your Republicans get finished with it, there might be, but right now it's still pretty uh, goddamn good. 
okay? Yes. And, 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 and I would and, never go back. I have been paying for Medicare for an awfully long time. Yes, that's right. The problem with Medicare for all is that when you give uh, these, Phil, uh, Phil, the, when you give an entitlement Phil, like that, it's not an entitlement. It's not for us because we paid for it. It's not an entitlement, Phil. You'll be getting it for free too then. Uh, in, many, in your case, uh, it's an earned benefit. Okay? Right. But all right. In, but wait a minute. Let me finish here, Phil. In Medicare the, for all. The, the, the fact is on Medicare for all, it's the same as almost every other country, every yeah. other industrialized nation has, and it's what's called... Single pay. You know why? When you let here? me. F oh, I thought you did finish. No, no, you waited for me to pause and take a breath, and then you jumped in. <laughs> it's like all right. Like, yeah. Jesus, you're driving me crazy tonight, Phil. Uh, uh, the fact is that th there are virtually every industrialized nation in the world has some form of single payer health care, and somehow they're still around and they're not broke and people are getting their medical help and they're getting good medical help. Just ask the people up in Canada as an example. The fact is that the only two countries in the world of industrialized nations that don't have single payer health care are the United States and China. Okay, okay. Patrick. Uh, are you Patrick. ready? Uh, can, can no, I say Patrick something? had his hand up. I know he had his hand up, but I wasn't done debating you. No, you weren't done no, interrupting no. me. I, yeah, I, well, I was waiting for you not to take a breath or to stop <laughs> breathing. Uh, you know, uh, I understand Patrick wants to say something. Uh, now I forgot what uh, I was going to say. Good, oh, I good, know what I was gonna good. Say. You know why Medicare won't work for all in this country? Mm -hmm. Because in the countries that it works, those people are healthy. If you look at um, they're healthy because they have insurance. they're healthy because no, they, they're healthy because they have a healthy lifestyle. Phil, they're, they're healthy. Healthy. they're healthy they're because they go to the doctor and get constantly. In this country, we're all obese. I call bullshit. Here. Got me I, okay, I call hold on, say hold on. Because because we have a government and we've got lobbying groups that 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 don't outlaw things that we shouldn't have in our environment. You, the you, pesticides. You mean like Coca Cola? Well, pesticides. I, I, I just read an article that says that the amount of pesticides in strawberries yeah, and in broccoli and things that have been outlawed in other countries because of our lobbyists here and all the money that should be out of politics that's in politics, all this stuff, oh, Europe has outlawed this and Europe has outlawed that, but not us. And let's deregulate it some more. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, there's nothing wrong with deregulation. Uh, uh, and, yeah, you know, let's just the, bring the, out some more coal so we can get some more lung disease. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, exactly. There's so yeah. many cancer-causing agents Look, that we do nothing about. You know what I love about Donald Trump is uh, he, you know, he he wants to build a wall where actually the more common thought in his thinking is a moat. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, he's thinking in terms of really old-fashioned stuff. Oh, and we got to save coal. Coal is old energy, okay? There is no place for people. it in a new society with new science that we can take care of it in other yeah. ways, and we don't need fucking coal. And more than that, we don't need those poor people having to go down in those mines and getting black lung disease. Beautiful. We need a bridge oh. to those new What were, what were you going to say, Kevin? What were you saying? Beautiful. Patrick had his hand up. Oh. Yeah. There is no such thing as clean coal. No, There's there no isn't. such thing. Coal is dirty. It's I mean, it's, it's nasty. I got it in my stock. Yeah, yeah you, you got, got it in your stock. Technologies from the 1800s. Yeah, but I mean, why are we building a wall? That's like that's like what they did in China. They built a big one once, you know, and it's and the Mon now and, and the and the Mongols still producer. came in. So it's beautiful, right? What the hell's that? I don't know. Oh, oh, it's something. It's coming out of oh, Kevin. Oh, oh. it's uh, <laughs> it's Trump. Oh, oh another <laughs> lie. Mexico's going to pay for it. <laughs> oh, that must be Alec Baldwin. <laughs> That's got to be Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Got any message for uh, the former president of Mexico? Yeah, get your money ready because you're going to pay for the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right, Kevin. <laughs>
Patrick had his hand up before I had to answer. Who this. had his hand up? Patrick had his hand this up before Patrick. I uh, yeah. passed it back. Uh, our again, and I know I've said this before, and it's just me being a broken record. Um, I would more than, I'd be more than happy to pay for some sort of universal health care if we weren't paying for fucking sports stadiums, and I'm paying yeah. for Oh, uh, listen, I, I agree with you. I don't think that yeah, any community true. should buy a sports stadium for a sports team. Sports well, team does that is a money-making yeah. proposition, and they should buy their own fucking, you know, uh, a stadium. We've got two in Milwaukee we're dealing with now. And the other thing that <clears throat> is pissing me off in my state with the new governor and we're looking at raising our gas tax by about 25 cents mm -hmm. we're going to be paying almost 40 cents a gallon on taxes and then i heard the, the federal government looking at raising the gas tax yeah. i mean fuck that so that's why you'll never hear me go all out for universal health care i'm paying enough in taxes for horse shit that I can't afford to pay hey, Listen, more. you want to know about more horseshit you're paying taxes for? Try the military. We, you, you're yes. 51 cents out of your dollar yeah. is going to, to, uh, to uh, uh, exactly. you're going to the military when the second largest percentage that goes out anywhere in the world is, I think, Britain at something like 10%. I okay. If you, yeah, it's because we're we're protecting them. Oh bullshit! How bullshit. much did we? How much do we destroy in weapons because they get old and they That's need to right. be destroyed? Absolutely. How much do we destroy? That's why we try to find a war somewhere so we can blow them like like yeah. uh, like like we did in the in the Gulf War so that we can blow up all the old munitions so we can build the new ones. No, that's cut, why we want to become friends with bomb. North Korea so we can cut. sell them. Cut the fence crap budget in half. Pay the troops. Oh, by the way, did you see that your boy today? Your boy today said he wants That's to have no sanctions, going. no trade sanctions against yeah. uh, North yeah. Korea. Yeah, he he yeah. lifted he lifted the sanctions. Yeah, well, there's another Bullshit. asshole move on. Asshole. His I don't know why he did it, but he's uh, an asshole. He, because he's well, an asshole, he Phil. A... Because he's losing his <laughs> he's fucking mind. His dick. Yes, Patrick's he doing the uh, you're doing the blowjob uh, pantomime. He loves dictators. <laughs> Well, All right. I mean, uh, Kim got to get it off somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, well, it's fifty-one a, cents. Did you say fifty-one cents of every? That tax was dollar a cost? few years ago. I heard that was the yeah. amount of every tax dollar. Knock that, that down to thirty and, cents, and and you could pay for health care for everybody. That's yep. right. That's right. You know, uh, and, and if you and, and if you did and, and if you use if you use more efficient efficient methods of the military as well, destroy more weapons every year. Most of it is salaries. Stop force stadiums. Fuck the military. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's I'm different. I, you know, that's not federal money, though. We have se we figured out tonight several places you could get the money for universal health care. You know, well, he well, he's taking money from the military and you should like that just to pay for the wall. They don't need so, the wall. You most Americans you believe we don't need the wall. And, and oh, you believe we don't need the wall. Most Americans stuff. believe we don't need the wall. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of guys at Trump rallies that like it. Well, yeah, there's yeah. twelve of them. Anyway. Anyway, they universal health care costs less. Thank God there's the theme. Uh, <laughs> it's a Trump. Oh boy! Are you uh, done breathing yet? Uh, uh, no, I'll, I'll be taking a breath after this is all over. Somebody wrote me. Right. Uh, Candace Higgins wrote me and said, "I feel sorry for you tonight, Alex." Um, uh, well, that's uh, because you damn losers. Uh, yeah. You know, Phil, uh, Phil, why don't you shut up so I can no close? Why don't collusion. you shut up so I can close the show off, will you? All right. Thanks, Phil Meyer. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Alex Rob Bennett. Alfano. Thanks to Patrick and to Brian. Call us again, okay? You know, yes. the more you do this, the more you learn how to jump in and be part of it, you know? No, I like the banter, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Charlie Wallace, always terrific. P Tony, glad to see you can get away from your mother long enough to sit there for a while. And uh, Kevin, I hope by next week 
They'll be turning that machine on inside of you. Yeah, by Tuesday it should be uh, zapping. Okay, well, maybe we can talk about it at that time. And in the meantime, I think all of you should uh, give a big wave goodbye to our audience, and I'll wave goodbye to you. That's, that's, our, that's our citizens panel, folks. That's how they roll. Oh, man, that was an exhausting evening for yours truly. But I got through it. And uh, uh, I'm pretty, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Anyway, uh, next is Jack Bishop, the intersection, and then we'll be back again on uh, uh, on uh, Tuesday, uh, hopefully right after uh, Damian Chaplin's exchange at 9:30. We'll be here at 10 o'clock Eastern time, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.